Hey there, my name is John Soskovich. I'm just a dude in Connecticut raising chickens and talking about it on YouTube. I've been doing it for a number of years now and I've been keeping track of those numbers throughout the years so that I can bring you some information so you can make a decision on whether or not you wanna raise birds out on grass, which quite honestly, I think is a great idea. Now, today's video is gonna be about the feed cost for broiler chickens. That's right, B-R-O-I-L-E-R, -E because I can't spell and talk at the same time. We're gonna go over the feed cost for broiler chickens uh, because they do, they do live on grass and they do eat grass, but that's only gonna take up between 10 and 20% of their diet. The rest of that 90 to 80% of their diet is gonna come from the feed that you give them. And while you think to yourself, why, go through all this effort of raising birds down on pasture if it's only that much of their diet. Believe you me, when you eat a pasture raised chicken, the difference that it makes giving them that extra beta carotene and omega-3 fatty acids and a, a, a diverse diet and a healthier lifestyle with more space to live is gonna make a big difference in the end product. And what's great is that there are more people buying into this now who are supporting farmers who are growing birds this way in a healthier, more nutritious manner. And uh, at the same time, you do need to feed those birds some supplemental feed. So that's what we're gonna calculate today. <clears throat> so the feed cost is going to be different for you in your area for me in my area for me in my area i uh <laughs> i it, th everything is expensive i live in the northeast uh, my feed costs are astronomical i don't have a feed mill that's really close to me um it just our infrastructure is different here so without getting into the politics of like well you're paying too much for feed and da 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 Trust me when I say I've made the decisions I've made for the best um, to cater to my market segment and my customers and for what my ideals and my ideals and ethics are. Uh, so getting past all the, the nonsense disclaimer stuff, I know from raising chickens for a number of years that the average chicken eats 15 pounds of feed over its eight week lifespan as a broiler chicken. That can vary. We're using that as a benchmark. It can go a little higher, it can go a little lower. It depends on your feed quality, the temperature outside, the type of birds you get, the, uh, the vitality of the birds that you have. But we'll say that 15 pounds is a good starting point for someone getting into this and that I'm very expressive with my hands because I don't have to show my face in these videos. Anyways, so 15 pounds, <clears throat> I get my feed in in 50 pound bags. So each 50 pound bag for me is $22 and 25 cents and this will vary year to year but again that's the information i published in my book so we're going to go with that because that was the most accurate information at the time so 22 dollars and 25 cents for a 50 pound bag if you divide 22 25 by 50 you're going to get 45 cents per pound to per pound bam <clears throat> so that ruffles out if we're if anybody who's quick at math, that's roughly eight hundred and ninety dollars per ton. I have to buy it by the ton, so that's part of my calculation. Then there's shipping costs and there's whether I want to go pick it up or if I want to get it shipped to me, I like it getting it shipped to me because it's about the same cost as me going to pick it up unless I'm buying more. <sighs> uh, so fifteen pounds uh, per bird at forty five cents a pound, that gives us a total per bird feed cost of six dollars and seventy five cents. Now, why is my feed this expensive? Why forty five cents a pound? I'm feeding certified organic non GMO feed and I, I myself, the farm is not certified organic, but it was really important to my customers that I not only be pasture based, but I'd be certified organic, non GMO. And then we've been discussing soy free, but I haven't made the jump yet. And that certified organic is three times more expensive than the local conventional feed that may have medications in it, could be full of GMOs, is not certified organic, and we're not gonna get into the politics of it. This is what I needed to spend to serve my my customers. So when I charge $6 a pound for my chickens, that's one, one pound of that $6 a pound is just going to the feed cost. And the next pound is going into processing because my processing is $4.75. But again, different video. 
So my per chicken feed cost is $6.75. Makes you think twice when you go to Costco or Big Y or whatever store near you has a $5 rotisserie chicken where you can get a whole chicken that's cooked and warm and waiting for you for five bucks. That's ridiculous. Where are they skimping to make that price work? It also comes in a non-recyclable plastic container, which heating plastic is a great idea. So that is our feed cost per chicken and it does scale. So. Wrapping up this video with a brief discussion about scale. If you're raising only a couple birds, you can buy 50 pound bags at a time and keep your feed as fresh and rotated as possible. When you're raising a lot of birds, you might be able to bring those costs down, even if it's certified organic. If you're buying three to 10 tons at a time, the feed mill is gonna give you a break because they're giving you a larger quantity. And when you buy things in bulk, as we all know, you can often negotiate a price discount. So your feed costs are gonna go one way or the other. So if you enjoyed all of the talk about scale, all the little tidbits, if you want more information on how to grow your birds, you can head on over to farmmarketingsolutions.com. That's the website. You can punch that into your browser or any search engine and you'll find me, guaranteed. Uh, and pick up your copy of the Pasture Poultry Packet number one, The Economics of Broiler Chickens. This is a workbook. This is not just a book, but this walks you through every expense that I have ever paid for when I was raising chickens. Uh, and it's going to help you determine what your costs are gonna be to raise a chicken dinner. You wanna know how much chicken dinner costs? This is your workbook to determine that. You wanna convince your wife or your husband that this is a good idea and that you should pick up uh, raising chickens and killing them yourself instead of just going to the store and buying a rotisserie chicken. This is data-driven decision-making. This is the book you're gonna want in order to make that happen. I'm getting to the end of my video series now. My voice is getting hoarse. So last plug, Farm Marketing Solutions. You punch that into YouTube. You punch that into the internets anywhere. You're gonna find the website where we have a podcast. We have videos. We have blog posts. It's a lot of fun, and I put a lot of work into it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So without much further ado, and so Paul can finish editing this video. Love you, Paul. Uh, I'll see you guys later.